These are your Harvard University Top 5 Plays of the Week. At number five, men's volleyball, and an all-around effort from Brandon Clements, recovering the ball off a bad dig near the Crimson's bench and giving Harvard time to set up another play. After St. Francis was unable to tally the point, Marco Kostic set the ball for Clemens and he hammered down the kill. Harvard went on to sweep number 15 St. Francis in three sets. At number four, men's ice hockey. Ryan Donato scored in each period Saturday to help the Crimson top Union 4-1. It was the rookie's first career hat trick and gave him 10 goals in his freshman season. The Crimson will host Cornell and Colgate this weekend. A win on Friday over the Big Red would clinch the Ivy League title. At number three, men's basketball. Against Brown on Friday night, Corey Johnson drove the left baseline and threaded a backhanded pass between two defenders to Chris Eggy. Eggy finished with a two-handed slam that brought the Levitis Pavilion crowd to its feet. The dunk pulled Harvard to within one point and route to a come-from-behind victory, the program's 13th straight win versus Brown. At number two, women's ice hockey. Already on the penalty kill, Sydney Daniels stole the puck in the defensive zone and carried it up the ice before firing a laser into the right side netting to extend Harvard's lead over Union to 3-0. The shorthanded goal was unassisted and Daniels tallied her fourth two-goal outing in the past seven games. Harvard went on to finish off its seventh shutout of the year. Finally, at number one, women's basketball. Over the final two minutes of the second quarter, Sydney Skinner scored eight points to lead the Crimson on a 14-0 run that brought Harvard within nine at the break after trailing by 23 points. The Crimson would complete the comeback over rival Yale, tying the NCAA record for the fourth largest deficit overcome. That's it for this week's top five plays. Be sure to check out the Ivy League Digital Network for more live and on-demand content.